In the previous video on God's essence and nature, we looked at what the Bible teaches about God's being. These qualities are generally unique to God. In this video, we will continue the same topic, but we will look at attributes of God that He wants His children to also imitate and develop. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at His holy mountain, for the Lord our God is holy. Psalm 99 verse 9 the basic meaning of holy is set apart. When God declares in the Bible that He is holy, it means that He is set apart from His creation in His essence. He is high above all things and is worthy of our praise and honor. He is the absolute perfect standard against which everything is measured. Whatever He deems to be displeasing to Him are unclean or sinful, and He would have no part in them. As obedient children, do not be conformed to the passions of your former ignorance, but as he who called you is holy, you also be holy in all your conduct, since it is written, You shall be holy, for I am holy. 1 Peter chapter 1 verses 14 to 16. Not only is God Himself holy, He wants us to be holy too. As worshippers of God, we need to measure our thoughts and actions by God's values and learn to live in obedience to God. Then we may be considered true children of God. For the Lord is a God of justice. Blessed are all those who wait for Him. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 18 Not only has God established order and laws, He also adheres to His own moral standard. We can always trust that He is good and upright. Therefore, the Bible calls God a just and righteous God. As the judge of all the earth, God rewards each person according to his works. Although for a time an evildoer may prosper, God will ultimately repay everyone with perfect justice. He will render to each one according to his works, to those who by patience and well-doing seek for glory and honor and immortality, he will give eternal life. But for those who are self-seeking and do not obey the truth but obey unrighteousness, there will be wrath and fury. Romans chapter 2 verses 6 to 8. But the Lord is the true God. He is the living God and the everlasting King. At His wrath the earth quakes and the nations cannot endure His indignation. Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 10. God is known in the Bible as the true and living God. He is true in the sense that He alone is the Creator and King over all creation. Because He is the only Almighty and everlasting God, we can trust in Him fully to govern and direct our lives. Furthermore, God is faithful. He is true to His words, and He cannot lie. He brings to pass everything He has spoken, and not a word ever fails. Because of His enduring faithfulness, we can always believe in His promises. These are the things that you shall do. Speak the truth to one another. Render in your gaze judgments that are true and make for peace. Zechariah chapter 8 verse 16. God desires to see the quality of truthfulness and faithfulness in His people. In both our speech and our conduct, we ought to be trustworthy. But whoever does what is true comes to the light, so that it may be clearly seen that his works have been carried out in God. John chapter 3 verse 21 Being truthful extends beyond our relationship with fellow human beings. We also need to be true to God by faithfully following His words. If we walk in the truth, we can see the light of God and experience His guidance. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love. Psalm 103 verse 8 one manifestation of God's faithfulness is His unfailing love. While God is perfect and just and does not tolerate sin, He is not quick to punish us when we disobey Him. Instead, He is compassionate and forbearing. He gives us many second chances to turn back to Him. In the Bible, we see that the people God had chosen time and again rebelled against Him. Yet for the sake of His promises to them, He showed them mercy. Even when he had no other resort but to punish them for their evil deeds, he still had mercy on them and offered to forgive them. Likewise, God loves us despite our disobedience. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. 
John chapter 3 verse 16. God loves us by giving us His beloved Son to pay the price of our sins so that we may be reconciled with God. There is no greater love than this. The Bible tells us God is love. He is the source of love and our prime example of love. He inspires us to love others as ourselves, just as He has loved us. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God. And whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. Anyone who does not love does not know God, because God is love. In this, the love of God was made manifest among us, that God sent His only Son into the world, so that we might live through Him. In this is love, not that we have loved God, but that He loved us and sent His Son to be the propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God abides in us and His love is perfected in us. 1 John chapter 4, verses 7 to 12.